Well, hi, uh, we're talking about the uh, consensus uh, paper on the classification of ovarian masses, which is just uh, coming out in the White Journal. I've got the two uh, main protagonists here, Professor Christina Fotopoulou from Imperial and Dirk Timmerman from KU Leuven, uh, who are going to talk about it. Um, I'll start with Dirk. Dirk, how did this uh, come about, this consensus uh, paper? Well, for the last 20 years, we've been working on new models based on ultrasound together with the IOTA group. But of course, to have any clinical relevance, we need to have a consensus with gynae oncologists, with other gynecologists, with other imaging specialists, uh, with uh, people who are using tumor markers. And so that's uh, why we met uh, 2019 at the ESCO conference in Athens with uh, Professor Christina Fotokoulou, and then we discussed this project. So turning to you, Christina, um... Dirk mentioned this collaboration. Which societies have been involved in producing this document? So this was a very, um, it, it was a collaboration between, uh, a collaborative project between IOTA, um, ESCE, the Society of Gynecological Endoscopy, ESCO, the European Society of uh, Gynecological Oncology, and, and Eastrock, the Society for Ultrasound. So it was a combina combination effort from diagnostic, surgical, and, um, and ultrasound society, so that we have a multidisciplinary approach to the project and we cover all relevant aspects. So having got this broad church together, Dirk, what, what in the end did the consensus document tell us? What, what's actually in it? What, what are the main points which you want to bring out here? It was very exciting to have the input from the oncologists from different areas and to go over um, how to distinguish between benign and malignant and how to manage ovarian tumors. And for this, of course, ultrasound is a very important part. So we made some statements on ultrasound. We made statements on tumor markers, and this was really a process of trying to come to a consensus based on the literature. So there was a systematic review. We took into account all the recent literature, and then we did a voting system and came to consensus. If we didn't reach consensus, then it was not a statement. So in total, there's 18 statements, mainly on ultrasound, tumor markers, MRI, CT, PET-CT, and then just uh, one statement on circulating DNA. And do you have any kind of flow diagrams that can help guide people through the management of what they do with masses, something like that? Is that, is that included in the document? Yes. So I think the most important uh, figures are the ones where you have a, a flow diagram of how to manage the patients and when to refer them to gynecologists oncologist and specialized care because this is so important for patients to have a better survival. So Christina, what's the implications uh, of the document from, for, for the gynecology oncology community? What are the take home messages? So what uh, the aim of our aim for this project was is to homologate homogenized diagnostic pathways across Europe and beyond. Um, currently, there is a lot of diversity about the type and extent of preoperative uh, imaging uh, or of imaging that needs to be done in a patient with a suspicious mass. Um, so we wanted to make sure that we have specifically and well-defined algorithms of diagnostic pathways um, where our gynecology oncology community can rely on with the ultimate aim so that the patients are being directed towards the right team, so that the right patient goes to the right team, so that we have a centralization of care and the patients who really need um, to have a specialist uh, gynecology treatment are uh, indeed being uh, referred to um, uh, gynecology centers as we have defined them and now within, uh, within ESCO. Uh, so we wanted to homogenize care and to um, have standards of high standards in diagnostic and also referral pathways uh, um, in all, in all uh, centers in Europe, if, if possible. That was our aim and our dream. Well, thank you both. Um, let's hope it makes a difference to patients. That's the main thing at the end of the day. So this paper is in the White Journal now. So I hope anyone who's uh, looking at this video uh, goes to the link and, and, and reads it. Um, thanks, both of you.